Hello, welcome to week 4, unit 1, Introduction to Collaboration and Overview. My name is Ayan Pandey. I am part of the SAP PLM customer office and I will be presenting this unit to you. In this unit, we will focus on the collaboration across enterprise boundaries. Now, let us understand the various facets of the collaboration. It happens at different times with different partners and with different content. In first step, the identifying the suitable suppliers and partners is most important to share documents and structure information during the facility planning or sourcing process with minimal potential supplier and to ensure you select the right ones going forward. In the next step, collaborate with development partners to collaborate on product designs or packaging information to share provisional specification or sustainability information to facilitate the R&D processes. And finally, ensuring seamless outsourcing to share bill of materials and specification to ensure that you, your contract manufacturer organizations produce according to your requirements, reduce errors, stay compliant in case of changes. In the process, the various exchanges which happens are like CAD designs, documents, requirements, specifications, bill of materials, and in a process driven manner. Product developers across discrete and process industries can realize a collaborative digital trade to empower people with insights to improve key business decisions from design to operate. Certain business processes examples are collaborative product development, which enables product teams to collaborate with the extended enterprise or development partners to develop and change products. Supplier collaboration that enables product teams to collaborate with suppliers and vendors to exchange various data such as RFX processes. Specification collaborations which enables product teams to exchange specification information with the extended enterprise. Document collaboration that enables product teams to exchange documents across the extended enterprise as well. Let us deep dive into each of these processes. At first, the collaborative product development, whose business outcome states, as a product developer, I want to detail out the product data and collaborate with business partners across the extended enterprise to lower the product and lifecycle cost. The process highlights are sharing business objects and documents across disciplines and enterprise broaders, adding business objects as reference to a collaboration, and establish a single source of truth. Importing bill of materials from SAP S4 HANA and performing collaborative redlining. Collaborative redline and visual annotations on 2D and 3D design models. Integration with SAP Engineering Control Center. Creating and leveraging workflows with safe exchange of information across your extended enterprise. Next is the supplier collaboration. The business outcome states that as a technical buyer or a seller, I want to exchange product data such as bill of materials, specification, documents, and managing the RFX process to lower product cost. The process highlights are creating collaborations and inviting suppliers, managed in SAP Ariba SLP to exchange product data, linking collaboration to sourcing events and RFX in SAP Ariba, flexible search and filter options to navigate to the right collaboration across multiple suppliers. Workflow driven collaboration with suppliers for safe exchange of information, bi-directional exchange of documents from SAP S4 HANA document management system into EPD. Following is the specification collaboration. As the business outcome states, as a product developer, I want to manage all product specification information in a single source of truth, including the greenhouse gas information to lower life cycle cost and decarbonize products. The process highlights are collaborating on provisional specification with supplier to shorten the time for final specification, assigning a provisional spec to collaboration to exchange with suppliers, transferring data from a provisional specification back to the source system to use in recipes, loading value sets for specification from the source system to work with provisional specification, storing greenhouse gas emissions as provisional specification. Finally, the document collaboration. 
the business outcome states as a product developer, I want to collaborate with team members and business partners to exchange and collaborate on documents to reduce lifecycle cost. The process highlights here are creating and using virtual spaces to collaborate with people across the extended enterprise, storing, sharing, and reviewing engineering documents in collaboration, managing document version by creating one or more versions of the base version of a file, uploading documents from the document management system of SAP S4 HANA, creating robust workflows including an integrated task management to support collaboration. Now, here is a summary of the key features and functionalities offered. Collaborative product development which allows you to add, retrieve, and view any type of product data from the source system, importing bill of materials and creating redlining, collaborate and work on reference objects like purchase orders, RFQs, specifications, etc. Create and assign work items tasks with defined workflows. Coming to the specification collaboration, which allows you to create a provisional specification to serve as a template for suppliers, load or transfer data from an existing specification into SAP S4 HANA. Define templates with different composition types for target provisional specification. Assign provisional specification as reference object. And then comes the requirement collaboration, which allows you to provide a platform for your engineers to collaborate with their development partners. Assign published requirements to a collaboration item and create a linkage between collaboration and requirements. Assess the changes to the requirements that suppliers or partners cannot fulfill. Supplier collaboration, which allows you to invite suppliers managed in SAP Ariba, supplier lifecycle and performance to a collaboration. Enable your suppliers to assess the collaboration linked to sourcing events, RFX. Navigate from the supplier portal to collaboration using single sign-on. Role-based authorization and version control is also an option. Document and CAD files collaboration allows you to manual upload of file to a collaboration. Support previews of images, PDFs, and 3D VDS files. Support CAD file exchange and visualization, including BOM structures and work instructions. Enable redlining of CAD files. Secure and seamless collaboration on product data role-based authorization and version controls. Subscribe to email notifications for any document changes. BOM collaboration, which also is product package exchange, which allows you to exchange BOM information with contract manufacturer, including objects attached to the BOM structure, like documents, materials, and change master. Uploading and downloading into external systems. Support multi-level bombs and redlining. Managing changes in a seamless bidirectional manner. Now, let's close the session with the key takeaways. We understood to capture the value at stake. It is now more important than ever to create an end-to-end -end digital thread in the cloud across your entire value chain. Instantly collaborate with participant within and outside your enterprise boundaries to accelerate product innovation. Collaborate and work on structured data such as business objects and unstructured data such as files, designs, etc. Achieve transparency through workflow based collaboration and object lifecycle management. Stay compliant with built in approval processes. Reduce risk of delays, rework, or out of compliance situation due to an outdated information. Now, I would like to invite you to the upcoming sessions during this course so that you can gain more insights into the other aspects of SAP PLM portfolio. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.